Southeast Texas Gardener. Let's see you build a painkiller. You know, I saw this. I even responded to him. But now I finally gonna take the time to make these drink requests. I would love to see myself make a painkiller. It's time. Welcome back everyone to another cocktail episode here at Liquid Memoir. First of all, I want to take a moment to thank you all for tuning back into my channel. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. Much love to you. If you're new here, you get some love as well. Today I'm finally starting all the drink requests you guys have been asking for. First off, the painkiller. Created in the 1970s as a cocktail created in the British Islands in a bar called Soggy Dollar Bar. Interesting name. Moist dollars. Interestingly, this is one of those cocktails that has a trademark. Puzzler's Rums owns the copyright of Puzzler's Painkiller. TM. Another cool fact about this cocktail is that it's supposed to be one of those hair of the dog kind of cocktails where it's supposed to be really good for your hangover. I mean, rum is always really good for your hangover. By the time that this video comes out, I should be on the works on the next cocktail request. So make sure you subscribe and hit the bell icon so you don't miss on that video. I'm just gonna let you know it looks like gonna be another rum cocktail. Maybe I should have just called this channel Rum Memoir. We're gonna build this in a shaker. Grab your jiggers and if you're like me, you're gonna hesitate on how much fresh pineapple juice we're gonna use for this cocktail. Pour four ounces. Yes, four ounces or 120 mils of fresh pineapple juice. I juice my pineapples with a juice extractor. You can use other juicers. Just make sure you take off the pineapple core. Follow me on all socials to see what do I do with pineapple skin. Then you're gonna pour one ounce or 30 mils of freshly squeezed orange juice. As for the coconut cream, I'm using Real Coco. I suspect the original recipe used Coco Lopez or any other canned coconut cream. For this one, use whatever you can find. Use one ounce or 30 mils of coconut cream. As for the rum, we're gonna use two ounces or 60 mils of Pusser's British Navy rum. Add a few ice cubes to your shaker. I only use about four to five ice cubes. And give this a good shake, 10 to 15 seconds. Once done shaking, you may simply strain the cocktail to your chilled glass. I'm doing a little bit of a flex here. And after that flex, I realized that the original glass I chose for this cocktail was too small. So I picked this goblet glass and pour over crushed ice. Top it off with some more crushed ice, serve with a straw, and garnish your drink with a pineapple front, or leaf, however you want to call it, orange slice, and some freshly grated nutmeg on top. Optionally, you can add a cherry as well. Check out how I make my house-made cocktail cherries. And that's a classic Pusser's painkiller. Alright, so let's see how we can make a better version of this classic. I believe this is from New York City based bartender Brian Miller. I couldn't find the exact recipe, but I'm certain I'm pretty close. If I'm wrong, go ahead and let me know in the comments. First, we're gonna add half an ounce or 15 mils of the following. Freshly squeezed lemon juice, freshly squeezed orange juice, and cinnamon syrup. Then add a quarter ounce or 7.5 mils of chilled coffee. Then you're gonna add 1 ounce or 30 mils of house-made coconut cream. You can use Coco Lopez instead. Either works on this drink. The recipe for the coconut cream and the cinnamon syrup will be in the description below. Then we're gonna add 1 ounce or 30 mils of fresh pineapple juice. And finally, pour 2 ounces or 60 mils of aged 
Jamaican rum. I'm using two different styles of Jamaican rums, both aged. One of them is a pot still, and the other is a blend of both pot and column still. Now, add a little bit of crushed ice into your shaker, and give that a good shake until the crushed ice is fully melted. This is called a whip shake. Whip shake is great for cocktails that are served over crushed ice. It complements the texture of the ingredients used and will add a nice foam to your cocktail. Once done shaking, pour your cocktail over a chilled glass of your choice. I'm using this tiki mug. Now add more crushed ice to your glass, but don't fill all the way to the top. Give yourself a little bit of space for your straw and garnish. For the garnish, I'm gonna use two pineapple leaves, a mint sprig, orange slice, and then I'm gonna add more crushed ice to the glass. And now finish this off with a generous amount of freshly grated nutmeg. You could add more garnishes, make it your own. And that's a variation of the painkiller. We got two painkillers. Let's give the first one a taste. Oh wow. This is actually quite good. Nice, yeah, this is really good. It reminds me of a rum punch with coconut. It really does have those vibes, if you know what I mean. Very tropical, very fruity. It's a little bit too much pineapple for my taste. I can see myself on the beach having one of these. I know it's fall, but what better way of having tiki drinks in the fall or winter of reminding yourself of the good old days of summer. It's, it's a fun drink. Let's give this a taste. Holy sh! Wow, complete different drinks. Holy f Wow, that's crazy how different these drinks are. Obviously, I didn't put too much pineapple, but you get the cinnamon and the coffee. Oh, wow, I'm getting more coffee now. That is working so cool with the coconut and the pineapple and all the other tropical flavors with the orange and, the, and like the acidity of the lime cuts down a little bit of the sweetness, just a tad. The rum here is phenomenal and we're using two different kinds of rum. They're both delicious. I'm sorry, but you might not have a drink by the time that we finish recording all of this. Let's go back to this one real quick. Yeah, I mean, whatever. I'm, I'm taking this all day. I'm sorry. All right, guys, that's going to be it for this video. Thank you so much for watching this video. Thank you so much for all the support. If you haven't already, please make sure to subscribe. Hit the bell icon. Give this video a like. Share with friends. Let me know in the comments which cocktails would you like to see next. Also, I started a Twitch channel, twitch.tv slash liquid memoir. I'll stream... Every now and again, thank you again for all the support. Much love to you all, and I'll see you the next one. Cheers.